have called the meeting to order. We have Mr. Richard Scott from our great city, uh, city clerk's office. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And uh, I see we have a guest. If you would like to introduce yourself, you're not required to. Hi, I'm Adrian. Adrian? Adrian? Yes. Thank you. Uh, and so, any uh, public comments? We have one member of the public here. No comments. Okay. Uh, approval of the special board minute meeting. Let me take a look at that. It's on page two and three.
should get a people are not trying to buy a lot of beer or you know, you're going to be drinking and should get your car or something like that. We've had accidents. <coughs> Ranking from the LAPD is in our district, the uh, breaking of vehicles has gone down to almost about 26%. So I have to have a break. It's happening to help in the digitated, but it's not happening in the media.
I just been a busy month, and I think the last time I was here, I did not have business cards. So if anybody wants to email me directly, wants my cell phone, I have my business card. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so I started off my career with uh, a wonderful tour of Red Studios from Carol Casella. She was the first to uh, host me and give me a tour of the historic studios. Carol gave me a dedication to the studio and her board in that meeting. And I look forward to learning uh, more from Carol as we move forward. What a fantastic job. The place looks great. Doing some exciting stuff there. Uh, <coughs>
Yeah, so we congratulate David on his recent uh, appointment. Yeah, he's elected in the city planning commission. Uh, Dwayne Gatters is the new chair of the Hollywood Chamber uh, Economic Development Committee. So I've met with him on two occasions, uh, and he's excited about our participation. Um, essentially, we, we met to discuss it, you know, uh, that committee's purpose, and I'm going to give you a little reading of ideas that they came up and handed out at the last meeting. So the Economic Development Committee of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce serves as the forum to generate and share ideas that further the economic development of the Hollywood Chamber. The committee brings together regional thought leaders, public policy, and government officials, and private sector leaders in an effort to advance ideas and advocate for policies that will promote the growth, development, and sustainability of Hollywood's diverse communities, including both business, residential, visitors, education, and our community serving nonprofit organizations. So uh, I think uh, typically that committee meets and hears only presentations from Developers. So we're hoping to kind of grow the conversation and find out ways in which we can attract higher retail, how we can uh, attract neighborhood serving retail, uh, and maybe have other things uh, in, in the northern part of, of Hollywood uh, other than just bars and restaurants. So I like I like the direction in which Lorraine wants to take the committee. I think it'd be really helpful to us uh, as we look at ways to attract business here in the bid. Uh, I'd like to attend the inauguration uh, of Senator De Kevin De Leon. We congratulate him on his uh, new position as president of the Senate. Uh, and we are joined today with Rick Scott, who spent quite a bit of time with me at City Hall uh, going over everything on behalf of the report that our bid is considered in good standing. We have a few documents that are uh, We have a few documents, uh, including our new contract that will be signed uh, this week. Next week, excuse me, by uh, our president and chair returning to the court's office. And then I, I attended another meeting with Universal Protection Service uh, when I met with Captain Ian Doyen. He asked me to attend as their special guest, along with their uh, Universal Protection Service's senior vice president, Scott Nasso, and their work with division manager. I was greeted and welcomed by the entire security force. The purpose of the monthly meeting is to debrief, receive education, training, and encourage. <coughs> They were encouraged by the leadership to not only be good security, but good ambassadors and to always be helpful. I had a chance to be to speak to every officer and walked away with a good feeling about the way we are represented by a group of hardworking individuals. I also got a report, a personal report from Captain Peter Zarconi, who reported that our men and our security is very easy to work with and uh, they take a lot off their plate. Um, just covered the economic development uh, committee. So one of the reasons why I think it's important to engage with them and what I hope to get out of that is I have on my desk, I've asked Jim to pull some of the surveys that you guys have um, that you had given to your membership previously. So uh, over time, I'll work with the committee to come up with uh, a survey and hopefully we can uh, extract some really good information that you guys can turn around and use uh, as property owners to further develop your business. You know who your neighbors are and how to give you some synergy amongst who is actually in the bid, all sorts of cool information that we can use to share. So I hope that I'll have all your participation on that as we move forward. Uh, really quickly, I'll close with uh, my casework. Uh, as was mentioned, we had a property owner contact us from 6065 Norris Avenue. Uh, I'll give you the highlights of the email. It says, over, the four, over those 14 years, my tenant has been removed from the trash and there are engines jumping in the and sleeping there. and has been burglarized many times. Last year, I wanted to ask for some assistance on the digital, digital billboard issue as I have a billboard, as I have a billboard on my property, but that was something that you did not get involved in. That has cost me thousands of dollars over the 16 months. Uh, I contributed to the, to the bid, uh, and I've not received one word of promotion in the newsletter. Uh, there is also no security control staying on my property. I trust you will pass this along to the board of directors and someone will contact me as soon as possible. Well, I, so, so, uh, my, 
response was, uh, I immediately called I wanted to hear from him what was going on in my property. He was familiar with it. We drove down there. We spoke with the tenant uh, who walked in and greeted us warmly and said, oh yeah, I see you guys everywhere. And I said, well, I understand you're having people jump your way. So none of that was true. And uh, he said that he believed that she just doesn't want to pay anything to do. So it was good to know that uh, the tenant that's running the business sees our green shirts everywhere and that uh, LABT is actually the injured DD because they never had to clean the So they're doing their job, they're doing what they're supposed to, and he's a happy tenant. Uh, in regards to, so I did reply to the owner and I, I thank them for contacting me and informing uh, them that you know, we, don't, we don't have jurisdiction over the awards. And that uh, I was happy to report that their tenant is very happy. <laughs> uh, the next case was uh, 732 Highland at Art Life Productions. Um, they uh, felt like they had some problems lately. Uh, we have a, a gentleman who's been laying in front of the Young Gun as adjacent to our parking lot. We can his crash and cigarette butts and it pushes all of us to the into our property. This has become such a problem that we must not have people cleaned up and we're having to start to pay cleaning companies for this, which is costing our small phone company a lot of money. The trash generates also get scattered in front of the donut shop and into highway. So I immediately contacted my friend Courtney Kanagi, who used to work with LAPD and is now uh, outreach coordinator for uh, PATH and does an amazing job. She's a very compassionate individual. Uh, they, she sent uh, her outreach navigator, Herman Asario, out to visit uh, with this gentleman who calls himself Brock Wolf, and his name is Brian. Uh, she just said, responding to the call, and that individual in the studio was complaining about it. We, accept, we, accept, we expected to see a huge mountain trash from the original email we read. We drove through the only donut parking lot and in the alley and saw the trash. The Hollywood Beautification team was out there in the area and said there was a strong possibility they may have cleaned the area. Um, the gentleman they, they, they talked to, they learned his name. Um, they also said that he was willing for them to continue to explore uh, and, and follow up with him. So, He's not uh, opposed to them coming in contact and finding out people services. So I'm happy to report that those are the things we can do in regards to complaints. We can make sure the area stays clean. We can't make people not be on the street, but we can't continue to try to reach them and provide uh, you know, a, a kind touch and hopefully some services. And you never know, I, I know that uh, in the other day they have many people that took them years to uh, continue reach, reaching out to those individuals and then they do find it. Response. So we want to thank Kermit Asari and Courtney Kanagi and Kat um, for their outreach to that gentleman. Uh, and it's really good to kind of participate with agencies like that so we have a good relationship uh, as a bid and then we call upon them if we respond uh, quickly and promptly. Uh, and then we have a public records request uh, from Adrian Riskin. We will be providing that information in, uh, as, soon as, as soon as we are able to pull the documents together. And lastly, I want to uh, ask you guys uh, for your participation in a couple of events Monday the 27th. And you'll find these on your, uh, on your handout. The Homeless Town Committee will be meeting uh, from 3 to 4 at Town and Wilcox. And then the Chamber's holding an all out of It's a really fun party at Hollywood Cemetery. And uh, there's also a farewell to Zeb Yaroslavsky, our uh, county. I'm pleased to that event, and I'm happy to have you all there for the invitation. Only Stephen and Jeff
computer that we had in the operations office uh, predates our uh, last two executive directors. So in a uh, computer laptop speed, that's uh, ancient uh, equipment. And, and it, it dawned on me that uh, we could Set about getting uh, some clothes after thinking of a, a nice system to have. Uh, Will Excel was very helpful in, in looking at it and uh, kind of making suggestions about how to proceed. But um, the, the general idea is to have a, 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 a desktop, a laptop, and then uh, have an iPad to be on the field, which would enable us to uh, either take notes or photos or other things that would make uh, uh, reporting and, and taking action on, on issues uh, easier. So we, we put together a few things um, and, and, and talking with Will, uh, it, it's a very interesting concept if you buy new and get the applicator and you've got uh, a, uh, a wonderful service that can fix things when they break, but if you buy a refurbished, that's potentially significantly less, you, you don't have the Apple Care, but oftentimes these things don't, don't break. And, and the point is, it's, it's a, a, a less expensive way to go for the, the same, or relatively the same. Way. So the, the question before us, given our uh, budget concerns is, is a, a good idea to go ahead and make the outlays now uh, to acquire new equipment, which uh, in seeing how archaic what we, what we currently have is, I, I think it's imperative uh, for, for the continued efficient operation of the especially with the, the transition. So, um, would you like to walk us through what you put together? Well, maybe you can sign in and share what you uh, take a look at. Yeah. So, um, I want to thank you all for providing some uh, additional pricing and quotes and uh, helping me out here. This is not my area of expertise. But uh, we did get a original quote from Apple Business. And uh, so, it provides kind of a guideline of, of what, of what uh, if we purchase new from them from the business. Will was able to find some uh, substantial savings in some areas. Uh, I'm not at all opposed to having a refurbished device. Um, where we are with the financials is, is that um, Susan uh, worked out of her office and had all the uh, QuickBooks uh, information, all the data is on QuickBooks. And in order for us to access that, um, to what you're currently working off of, I think it's, a, it's, it's over. About an 11 year old Apple laptop. I'm using my personal computer at the moment. Uh, so we definitely need to uh, hurry up and make a decision on a computer. What computer is up to you guys? Um, so, as, as you can see, I think it, it, there's a handout here, and I uh, put on here the Apple Care Broker. So, you can anywhere to refer to you can scratch it off. But there is some sort of warranty in there, right? right? Yes. It's just not out of there, and the prices wouldn't be, well, 
So I sat down as I pulled this together, I said, I really don't have time to do this today, but I, I tried to get uh, I tried to make some last minute, so my apologies. No, it's all right. I just want to make sure we clear on your mind. Get at tax the book column. Like when you buy a car, are you close to the So I, I guess if I if I would have to make a, a recommendation, I would recommend that uh, we allocate up to uh, Seven thousand for this, and try to go using uh, the savings that will found for us. Uh, and by the way, a little more than that price. Given a little more time, we believe we can save. That's the concept that we can save significantly. Not directly apple, which will charge. Right. Full price. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, if you want a good example, it would be the Hollywood Entertainment District um, uh, Facebook and website, and it should be a little more modern and more business, let, let, you know, let's know what's going on with that. So that might be one of the benefits for the high five. I mean, you can do it all on the phone, but you know how to yeah, as we develop those tools, I think that uh, if I'm going out and I'm um, having a meal and they're serving something really cool or something going on in that in that venue, if uh, I'm going, if I see something on the studio that's really cool, it's kind of exciting. I can, I can, you know, uh, take a movie ever really quick, upload it to our to our site, do some sort of promotion. So there's all all sorts of ways to use the iPad. That was one of my ideas. But if uh, if people feel like it's more prudent to not have it. Oh, I, I'm just asking. I know I have different devices. I try to. Oh, I know there's. I'm sorry, I didn't know before. Stephen, that you. Didn't I give you a second price for the, for the iPad? Is that I not? I didn't see that one actually when I was printing out the last edition. I was in a hurry. I have, I have what you sitting here. You want to take a look? No. No, I, I made this around for the package, but I think I found one for about. I think it's 579. Okay, actually, it's not good. That's something. It's a lot better than the camera. Okay, I'm just going to ask. Is your cell phone, is it an iPhone or is it an Android? My cell phone is an iPhone. Okay. I mean, I, I don't even have a computer at my house. I just do, you know, when I'm at work, I do what I need to do on the desktop, but for the most part, uh, not to continue shooting down the iPad, but I think if it has the 3G option, I'm pretty sure you can like a service plan moving forward for a monthly service plan or something. But uh, I mean, as far as like taking pictures or emailing or texting, whatever, uh, for the most part, I think it's a great offer an iPhone. Well, I have to say, I think there's a perfect example of, of where you can a lot of meetings. Um, it's, it's so beneficial. Um, but again, it, it's not a must have right now, it's just going to be a valuable tool. I can't, I can't really engage in a lot of and so
and then pass the next step. Okay, I guess I'm going to do this. So, so this is, yeah, this is a change talking about 1325, not 1575. Yeah. There's two. Right, right. Um, so we'll uh, set up a meeting because it's an important issue, and I, I think it would be. Uh, Yeah, I think that's a problem. 
Well, let me go so, or let's see even know if yeah. uh, right away, then we'll, if not, we'll, we'll know the player. So, okay. Uh, December board meeting location date and time. Okay. 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 Okay.